All right, everyone. Greetings, survivors. I have turned for part uh, five, part five of the Stalker playthrough, um, or the Stalker run, I suppose. You don't really play through this game so much as you play until it ends. So, um, I have about a half hour in which to uh, fit this in. So, we will short. Right, there's Alpaca. Load her up. What had I done last time? I know I checked the bleak and lit ravine for the flare pistol and found nothing. Only sadness. So, how are we looking? Morning. Pile of stuff. We got bedroll to go with us. What's our food situation like in here? Okay, tons. Tons of options. So, I cooked and opened all these cans. Uh, I think we'll start off with the soda, because both meters, right? Um, I'm not used to having that lower carry weight from um, not having any of the uh, items that expand it, so that's a little different. And, and, and dig down to these flares. Flare. Uh, I think I'll leave the blue flare here. How many flares do I have? Four? We're good on flares, guys. Uh, is there anything I could drop that would just shave off five pounds? Oh man, I finished the sewing primer. Uh, how am I in fire stuff? Sticks are the answer to what I could drop that would shave weight fast. Yeah, that's two pounds saved. Oop. Tinder plugs and things. Or to let go. Uh, I don't think I've yet dropped a couple matches here, even though I might not return. Put those down. Uh, how am I on cloth supply? Six. So it's probably fine to uh, drop that at least. Uh, I have two pairs of socks. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna find more stuff, and I have spare hats. I have a good spare hat right there, so we're not too worried about that other clothing. That'll that'll all be future duck problems, right? But let's get moving because it's cold. Check around the carcass for feathers. Uh, I think this way is just the direction to go. Um, and because we're limited on time, probably I'm just going to check. Uh, well. Hmm. Honestly, because I'm so I'm, I'm heavy, uh, I should probably uh, try and get this loot to uh, where it needs to go. What am I carrying that I would actually put down? Right, the rifle. Um, because the rifle is below half condition and it only has two shots, uh, it's liable to jam at the in most inopportune time. Um, so it's something that I want to set down in probably in Trapper's Cabin uh, for now deal with later. Uh, can I make it to Trapper's Cabin in 20 minutes? Probably not. Honestly, it's, it's also very cold. Um, that's a consideration as well. Just like in real life, when we get closer to midday, it'll be warmer, but for now, we're freaking freezing. That's okay. But, because I have all of that, um, Food. And I could go and check over uh, over this bridge. You'll get to some some like rail cars that are slightly derailed, and those will have some some loot. Uh, sometimes a climbing rope, but we already went down, so we don't need another rope. Uh, and there's, as far as I know, there's not a flare pistol that spawns over there. We put it in the hard spot, you know. Okay, so while I'm still here and safe, right? Let's just get over to Yon Rock here. I think if I tuck in here I'll be out of the wind. Yeah, alright. So that resolves that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and warm up the tea. This is also why I was carrying so much firewood, guys, was because it um, gets real cold. Don't burn the birch park, yep, alright. 
and without the reliable uh, fire starting, having high level fire starting, it's, uh, it's rough. That did not work, Astrid, that is correct. When you fail, try, try again. 60% chance, so it's coin flip. A little, little bit in our favor, but uh, and you'll note that it tends to fail right around the actual 50 per 60 percent mark of how much it would uh, of the percent chance. So if it gets past here, we're probably good. And that's just a thing I've noticed. I don't know if that's a real thing. Oh man, Come on. inability to start fire died. <sighs> Gotten the early game struggle coming into this right after my my long-standing Voyager run where everything felt easy peasy. All right, there's a fire started. Now this fire is of course not actually warm enough to warm us up. Popping that stuff, and what we're gonna do is. Uh, Oh, controls, controls, derping, derping, derping. We're gonna put down that. And, uh, I have a lot of herbal tea. We'll put down that herbal tea. That's gonna warm up right there. It's gonna warm up there. And while we're doing this, we're actually just gonna go ahead and warm up a bunch of random drinks. Um, and by random, I mean coffee. Uh, if we go like this be cold for a minute, we'll eat something warm, and that's going to help us out. That's all hot now. Uh, I could pop on another stick, carry a torch out of here, might as well. Um, having that warming up benefit and being able to drink hot drinks as we move is going to help us not freeze. Unfortunately, we weren't very hungry or thirsty, so it didn't didn't give us much heat gauge back. That's okay. We gotta move. Now another option is I could stop at the dam uh, and, tr and try and find uh, Vaughn's rifle. I could trade away Barb's lower condition rifle, maybe for a better one. Um, which would at least let me start hunting right away, which would be great. Um, have I found a maple sapling yet? No, only birch. Okay. So, we'll first stump. I think that's a stump. I think we're okay. Um, and also, going along these rail lines, uh, there's usually a lot of wolves. Okay, we have hit hypothermia risk. So cold. Just okay, a hot drinking inventory. Uh, yeah. Okay, and that gave us a bit of heat back, and honestly, this, the heat organic is probably not going to get us all the way to trappers. Um, trade down rifle. Don't trade down the rifle. Trade down the rifle. Don't trade down the rifle. I think... Well, I think we're going to do it. The dam is not my long-term stop. It's a nice security gate. That'll help us out. Um... But going into the dam for a bit will let us warm up and organize, uh, and uh, yeah, mainly we just need to warm up, and maybe we'll find something warmer to wear, I don't know. The dam has a lot of, um, oh wow, bullets. That's a happy sign. Now I'm like, is there a gun? Gun? Uh, although... Um, a, a gun, a revolver, will not help us much, uh, because we can't eat, we shouldn't eat wolf meat yet, because, uh, wolf meat can give you parasites, and parasites can get you killed. Until we hit the cooking skull where we're immune to parasites, um, any spare torches? Okay. Or wait, okay, only three. So we'll, we'll just let that burn out, and it'll become a stick. Go in here, and there, there are plenty of like those little containers that can be cracked open. I like to search the lockers primarily because that's where you're likely to find the best stuff. Is how it feels like these. Uh, 
Okay, maybe not. Those, those aren't as good as I hoped. In fact, I already have. So we'll just set those down right there. Uh, and while we're in the dam, I tend to just leave heavy things right here. So we can put down a lot of that stuff. We can put down these, oh, which will help the cure a little while we're here. Um, we'll plop down our spare clothing. Plop down our coal chunk. Okay, and that gives us a bit of weight to work with as we explore in here. Um, basically, the goal being to just hang out until we're warm. <clears throat> Too many food items. Okay, there's the hot one. Just an attempt to expedite the rewarming process, basically. But yeah, and I, well, back to uh, the previous runs, I used to come in and loot the entire dam in one go. Well, there's a hat. Passable condition. Out of that. That's worth it, right there. That's a raw food bullet. So yeah, this is probably just going to be a- oh, no, I'm bribar yet. Okay. See, another reason to return later. Although we might find a private bar in our adventures. Okay, a little dark. I have the lamp, might as well. And there's, of course, tons of fresh water to be had out of there, but we don't need that yet. Again, this won't be my only trip to the dam. I tend to search the garbage cans because uh, they have a chance of bullets or a fishing hook. As I may have said earlier, fishing hooks are going to be important. I don't remember there being too much in this corner up, oh, but hey, rifle cartridge. Usually in drawers you'll find like food and stuff, but meh, we're, we're in this corner, we'll, we'll check it out. And I might not actually get all the way to Vaughn's rifle, simply because it is, uh, I think like a 2 out of 3 chance that it's outside. Um, I know, I think one place it can spawn in here, question marks? I've never seen it spawn in here, I've only seen other people find it be in the control room. Okay, so not a lot to be found in any of those containers. Yeah, I think in here, uh, laying by uh, this area, that's useful. Some tools, which we can put over by the workbench. So no, no Vaughn's rifle, and in, in there, although it's kind of going to be a pain to walk around right now, uh, there's sometimes good things. Some burnables we can move. As you can see, lots of workbenches in the dam. It's, uh, if you're okay being in here with the creaky metal and stuff, it's a pretty cool little base. And by little, I mean one of the biggest in the game. So, we're halfway to warm. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and crack the safe. The other thing I could do to warm up is I could sleep, uh, which would help things along. But nope. So fourteen. I'm just gonna try and uh, survive and get closer to Trapper's cabin. Whatever I find is whatever I find. We'll carry the best of whatever we get with us to our primary home, basically. Fuck. Okay, so reset back. Turn to 14. Turn back. It was just past the zero. So, 55, 54. 
It's also still early March in real life, and it is balls cold again today after yesterday being quite comfortable. Comfortable like 50 degrees. We're now down to just about freezing again is how it feels. Alright, clear. Nice. Nice. We'll want bullets later, basically. Even if I'm not going to do much with them now. So now, I could go down, right, into the rest of the dam, but... Oh, okay. I don't know, actually, how my clothing situation looks, so... Crack these. Hopeful, but no dice. And I think I hadn't opened these, so yeah. Go through these. Sort all this stuff later. You'll note on Stalker, you get junk, uh, useful things out of. Hey! You get things out of containers less. Uh, it becomes less valuable to be opening them like this. It's still valuable enough that I'll do it. I'll do it. And again, we're going to come back to that spot. But another place to check is in here. Although in here it doesn't actually connect to anything. Both ways are dead ends. Sometimes you get a bullet or two out of this. Um, kind of looking in those pallets just in case the game has decided to stick something interesting in there. But nope, not the case. Alright. Often there's a clothing item on these stairs. Um, there's this room, which, hey, I just put down water. Let's scan it for anything that's sitting out that might be super valuable, like <coughs> that gun we're looking for. And again, workbenches abound. You can open this door, shoot into the back office. Yeah, as you can see, tons of containers that we could open. For now, Keeping with my superstition, again, not confirmed, can't see loot tables or anything. We'll just check those, and I'm also almost rewarmed, so that's good. And you see that one, we don't want to miss that locker. Okay. okay, it's the only thing good I've gotten out of a locker thus far. Oh no, nothing. Alright, we'll open a few more things at random. Um. But yeah, basically I don't worry about looting the whole space because I am going to come back to this if I live long enough. And check it all out. I'm not sure. No clothing item. Let me come up here where sometimes there can be another item just sitting. Maybe there's something in that box, maybe not. But we're warm up we're warmed up now, so. Time. I got about five minutes. I'll get us somewhere. This pack is getting Tools, saplings, fuel, bedroll. Some tools can stay behind. Oh, we have the sewing primer that I can. Oh, okay, that's okay. I have the sewing primer that I can burn. So, uh, a few things. We will. Fuel up our lantern from 2.9. Maybe I had. S oh, okay. So we'll leave the big can here. We'll come back to that. And that'll be there for future me. I can definitely afford to leave behind, um, like, a snack and a tea. Just. that. Uh, what do I have? Okay, it doesn't look like I have a warm, a warm one. We'll drink that to knock it below 0.15, so that it's lighter than the empty can would be, and then we'll eat another one. Some water to cut weight. The Marie's are also very good. They're just, they're just dense and rare, basically. Okay, how heavy are we? Uh, uh, Damn, so much of that stuff. Alright. 
Oof, I haven't opened empty empty yet, so it has to load some portion of the code. We're just gonna leave behind uh, basically payments. Save me another little increment of weight. Um, and we'll go ahead and leave behind cattails because they're eternal. They will definitely not decay. Okay, and uh, see how bad it is. Okay. Not sure that I can actually even make it to the camp office in the amount of time we have here that I have available. Which is unfortunate. Is there anything in my notes that I should be. Yeah, grab my gear, grab my gear from the camp. We can clear that note. So we're just going to check a few nearby things, because I think the walk to camp office will take me longer than the time I've budgeted for myself here. This stuff will come in handy. We'll pull it only to get it out of here. Oh, hi. Oh, new cave. I know what that is. This is just a marker that tells you where the cave to mountain town is, which is probably a great thing for new players. Um, I kind of know where that pot spot is by feel now, but... And there's mushrooms. I'm very tempted to go pick them up, but I shouldn't. There will be time to suck up all the resources here later. So really this is just... looking around for high tier loot, bullets, um, matches, wait, wait, favorable food. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Um, so many mittens. Okay, we can now go ahead and compare uh, our mitten pairs. 96, okay. Pop all that down. The shoes down. Oh right, I have this sweater that I found. Is it better? No. And no. It can stay. So we'll go hit the other trailer and then I'll probably sleep in that one. I think there's a medicine chest in the other trailer. I don't know if there's anything that spawns like near these trailers. I don't know that I've ever oh, oh okay, that's just a little chunk of terrain. Sometimes trailers have backpacks behind them. It's specific ones, though. But I'd never checked this one, so... And I haven't checked the other one, either. But... Nah, 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 nah. Future, future stuff, future stuff. Is there a medicine? Yeah. This okay, is I man. guess. There's a soda. The good socks. Those might be worth carrying along simply because they are top tier socks. Okay, and uh, there's tinder plugs. Nothing. I thought I saw a flicker. No. Uh, another spawn of a soda and a cloth. And pillow under the bed. Okay, and a backpack. Backpack with it and junk socks. So junk socks we drop. Um, we'll go in here. Plop down some of that cloth. Uh, the unopened one is actually more valuable to me than one I've already opened. So we'll go ahead and put down. Uh, that's my alarm. Just doing a few more things, alarm. It's gonna be okay. So there's that junk cloth, and then we'll just sleep here one hour to save the game. So, uh, not a lot happening here, just uh, for this episode, but we made some progress. 
and uh, thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'll be around for longer ones in the future. So, uh, take it slow, don't freeze to death, and I'll see you in the next one, survivors. Bye-bye.